Maybe I'm panicking for nothing. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Logic says you've got to have maybe brood. Maybe the bees know what's going on. But I'm not I'm, seeing any either. I don't know if I'm seeing any eggs. It's all honey. Nothing, man. Not even one cat cell of brood. It's, it's almost like these guys have winterized themselves already. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of our hives in Kroblersdal over a full year from May 2022 to May 2023. That's covering autumn, spring and summer and then what the difference will be in the autumn of 2023. We made a couple of mistakes, so I hope you can learn from this. And if you get value from this video, then please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. This hive is placed in the beautiful bush felt in the low felt of South Africa. The foraging is the natural acacia trees that grow here as well as the wildflowers and there's also limited access to some citrus farms in the area. In our pre-winter preparation we'll be taking the super off and harvesting the honey. This hive had a queen excluder on it. We don't use queen excluders anymore because we find that if the queen is trapped in the brood box below and is unable to lay then the colony will swarm. We don't get out to this area very often and we'd like to prevent that. Okay, we're getting into the brood box now and in the bottom right hand corner you can see the diagram showing the hive's previous status. Let's see now what the pre-winter status looks like. Okay, what do we have? Okay, that's our honey frame. Okay, so before, one, two, three, it used to be a used to be brood, not honey. So they've done the same as that other colony. They're bringing the honey down. They bring it in winter. They bring it down from the super into the the brood box, and then uh, we'll see there'll be a smaller amount of brood in this compared to when we last looked. So that's also all honey. And that's also honey. So, oh, what's that honey? Oh, there's some lava in there. Okay. Okay, there's lava there. So what they've done, you can see the little lava inside yeah. those cells. You can see these cells are all clean up to the honey. So what happens is the bees come and they actually clean it in a circle and then the queen knows she can lay there and then she comes in and she lays. Okay, so that's a brood frame. Okay, there's brood there. Nice brood. They're putting honey in half the frame and brood on the other half, which is similar to that other box. You'll see in spring, the whole frame will be brood. Okay. Yeah, so this is the eggs. Eggs here and honey over there. Okay, and then this is honey now again. So this one's actually it's only got three frames of brood. Oh, that's, that's very full of honey. That whole frame will be honey. Oh, that's also full, full, full of honey. And that one's also honey. Comparing now what the hive looked like when we brought it to this location and it had quite a number of frames of brood in it, we had placed some empty frames, which were the white frames, to now, which is just in preparation before winter, and the colonies reduced dramatically in size. They brought a lot of honey down into the brood box. We took the super off this hive to reduce the space that the bees need to keep warm during winter. It's been four months now and uh, it's spring in the low fault. So we're opening up this box now to check to see whether or not the queen is expanding this colony and understand if we can possibly super this up again in preparation for the spring flow. Okay, so I'm here today with uh, Hendrik and uh, Edward. We're just doing inspections on our boxes in Kroblersdal. Uh, this is a uh, spring maintenance that we're doing now. And we just found this box, every single frame so far, all of these frames have all just got honey. There's no brood or anything, so 
you know the obvious uh, thing is that there's no queen in this box but then we can see uh, they seem to be making a new queen there's queen cells there on the left in the bottom there there's queen cell these ones are all still capped there's one over there as well on the next frame is a supersedure cell in the middle of the, the comb that one's capped as well so the new queen's going to come out of that one so yeah definitely there's no queen in this box within the next couple of days in fact those will hatch we'll have uh, a new queen in this colony she'll have to go out and she'll have to mate and um, there's plenty of drones in this area we've got lots of hives so she'll easily be able to mate and she'll come back and hopefully the next time we inspect which will probably be in about six weeks time we're going to see full frames of brood again on reflection i actually think this colony probably swarmed and we didn't get to it soon enough they were more than likely honey logged by the fact that i had left quite a bit of honey in the brood box a couple of months before this so the queen clearly felt that she was honey locked and therefore she had no space to lay and she wouldn't have been getting around the box enough for the rest of the bees to see that there was a queen in this box and so they would have started to create a new queen she would have seen this and then decided to gather a large portion of the colony together and swarmed and so what we see now is the bees that were left behind and of course these queen cells in the hope that they're going to create a new queen to sustain this colony going forward so what we did is we've put some empty frames on each side of the two frames that the queen cells were on in the hope that the bees will draw them out with some fresh comb for the new queen to start laying in. Okay, so the are bees, eh? Yeah. Let's have a look and see what we have. Okay, yeah, that's got a queen. She's mm. laying nicely. Mm. And then it's built so nicely. Mm. Yeah, that's all... It's all honey, that's all yellow. So I just want to see this side if there's any that we can take out. Okay, there's brood. Look at that, eh? So that's just solid, all babies. Sure. Let's put that back. That's nice. That's what I like to see. Oh, nice. Beautiful. This this here is all brood. It's all babies. But this one's actually doing nasty. And you were worried about this one, eh? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. That's five frames of brood. Okay. Yeah, one you can put back in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, and then this one, put that one back, yeah? What was that? Just honey, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so put that one, yeah? Okay, so it's honey, honey. This one was nothing. And it's brood, 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 brood. This is honey. And we'll put an empty one here. I wonder if we should put a super on this one. We're going to have enough bees. So this was actually in a bad state before, hey? Yeah. yeah I remember, yeah. we had no babies in this one. Hey? Yeah, yeah. Wow, so this hive actually surprised me. I mean, last time we had absolutely nothing except honey and there were some queen cells. And now we have a box that's practically full of brood. We've now supered up the box and hopefully we'll be able to harvest some honey from this uh, by autumn. You'll see from our summer diagram that we've put two empties on each side of the brood. This is going to allow the colony to draw that out and it'll be nice fresh new comb for the queen to lay in. So we expect this colony just to explode. Stick around to the end of this video. We're going to now work into autumn and we're going to see what the difference was between May of 2023 to May of 2022. Apologies, but the live audio on this particular inspection uh, didn't come through, so I'm just going to narrate what we did here. First, just to check the super, and from what we can see, there's no honey in the super, so it's a bit disappointing 
we had quite a lot of brood going into the summer period expecting there to be a flow and we thought we'd be able to harvest some good honey now clearly we don't know our area well enough right checking the brood box now if this is the same as any of the other hives that we have in the area then it's just going to be full of honey because so far we've checked approximately four or five brood boxes and all we've had is honey no brood at all first frame pulled is just honey checking the outside frame I expect this to be honey as well yeah it's, f it's full of honey next frame also just full of honey you can see from the smoke that we put onto the bees they get onto the open cells where they've stored nectar and they just start engorging themselves just in case they have to flee the hive as I pull each frame I'm just checking to see if I can see a queen um, we want to make sure that there is a queen in the hive if there's no brood and then we know she's just going dormant for the winter again this is just another frame of honey quite an old piece of comb very very dark just working my way through the box every frame so far just full 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 with honey no brood at all we're not seeing eggs any larva we're seeing a reasonable amount of bees so we would expect that there would have been a round of brood that did emerge within the last couple of weeks but we're seeing absolutely no eggs or larva on any of these frames they just full 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 with honey This is one of our wax foundation sheets that we put in last time and you can see the comb is a, a much more yellow and cleaner comb. So if there were any eggs or any larva we more than likely would have seen them on this frame. But again, it's just you can see nice capped honey at the top towards the bottom is open cells filled with nectar. We're popping this frame more towards the middle of the box because we know it's probably a frame that we're not going to need to recycle out of the box in the near future and we'd rather push some of the older comb to the edge of the box. Last frame, don't expect to see much else except more honey. So this was a bit disappointing. I mean, we went from a box that was practically full of brood in summer to no brood in autumn and a box just full of honey. And if we then compare this to autumn last year, at least we had three frames of brood then. So this area for me definitely says that there is a massive dearth during the autumn period and there's not enough um, foraging for our bees and we need to be aware of that. Thanks for watching this episode, it was one of my longer ones and if you want to see what happens with this box after uh, autumn and going into uh, springtime we're going to be doing those inspections quite soon and we'll be able to report back on the progress in terms of whether or not this queen came back to being active again and laying and uh, increasing the brood in this box.